People think I hold grudges. I don't. People just want me to forgive them on their terms and on their time. It doesn't work that way. I will forgive when I'm ready to forgive. I will apologize when I feel that I'm wrong. But it, it has to take only that time for me to do so. I'm not gonna go off of anybody else's time or off of anybody else's terms. For some reason, I react to a video by DDG doing this little dear, and uh, naming all these YouTubers that he wanted to apologize to and basically starting fresh for the new year. All of a sudden, I'm seeing all these damn YouTubers <laughs> doing the same damn thing with dear blah 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 Quite honestly, it's annoying the hell out of me. You might be thinking, well Bliss, what's wrong with forgiving people? No, it's not about that. Because now I feel it's just for entertainment purposes and it's annoying. That's not how life works. What's the difference between 2019 and 2020? It's just a whole different year. In December of 2019, why didn't you forgive these people? In October of 2019, why didn't you apologize? In March of 2019, why didn't you reach out to, to those people who've done you wrong? But because it's January in 2020, people are doing all these forgiveness videos and it's, it's unrealistic. It's um, obviously just people following each other when it comes to content. Now in Queen's case, I truly do believe that Queen does want to forgive these people because Queen actually has a good heart and she really does. And I think for her, I think she was finally waiting for others to reach out to her in some way and apologize to her in some way because finally she has someone like Clarence as her partner to help her stand her ground and to help her love herself and know her self-worth to understand that no, this time you have to let others reach out to you. Honestly, I did not want to react to any other videos or any other YouTubers with a dear blah 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 blah. But because I like Queen, I want to see what she's got to say. This video is called Dear Airy and the Taylor Girls. This is how we come in 2020. The thing I do like and what I've been supporting is the black community of YouTube coming together. This is what I do like about this whole thing. If it's genuine from everyone. If everyone is genuine about their videos, then I'm all for it. But y'all could have done this months ago, years ago. But hey, they say it's never too late, so. Who am I to say anything, right? All right, let's go ahead and watch this video and see what she's got to say. What's up, Royalty Squad? It's your girl, Femina Cup. Once again, back with a back with a back, 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 back with a back with another, another video. Hey, with another, another video. Hey. <laughs> first video of 2020 y'all it's a new decade and i just want to start off i just want to start off the year with pop she woke up with a lot of energy i don't know if she drinks coffee but sums up vibes i just want to start off the year all right y'all let me stop playing i just want to start off the year clearing up anything that the audience may have thought was going on this seems to be a video that's like trending um i guess people are going around saying Dear so and so, you know, mm -hmm. dear so and so, mm -hmm. I don't want any bad blood with you, and this mm -hmm. and that. Seeing some people reacting to some people's and, and saying what they had to say, I'm not gonna react to anyone's. Um, and I chose to do this actually because I was already thinking about doing it, I swear on my life. Like, girl, <laughs> you don't have to smack your face, but I believe you 100%. Queen is one of those rare people with a good heart, like just like my wife, she's got a great heart. And I believe her 100% that she wanted to reach out to these girls. But let's go ahead and watch that smack in the head. Just already, I just, let's watch that smack in the head again because that was funny. I was already thinking about doing it. I swear on my life. Like, <laughs> I was thinking about doing this already. I just didn't know if I was really going to do it. But since everyone else is not scared to come forth and just, you know what I'm saying, put out positive, mature vibes, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? So, um, as y'all can see, the names of my title I have. I got the Taylor Girls. Oh. And I have um, Ari. Ah. These are people that a lot of people in the audience or my supporters felt like I had bad blood with. Um, and really, it, was, it wasn't it was really no bad it blood. It was just a fall, at all, falling nobody, out. Truly. Um, we just, we may have like stopped talking for a little bit, but it wasn't bad blood. You can't really have bad blood with Queen. Like, she. 
I, she's the type of person that will never stab you in the back, talk you down, talk down to you with others. She ain't that type of girl. So if, if she ain't talking to somebody, it's because, you know, they're just growing apart. Bob. That's okay. It happens, everybody. I say, it's life. I've never had an issue with Ari. I never had an issue with her. Um, everybody knows that we was starting to get close when mm -hmm. um, we went on the girls' trip and everything like that. We started hanging out a little bit more after that, but then we kind of drifted apart because we had our own thing going on. First of all, let me rewind it. Let yeah. me rewind it. Rewind right? it, girl. This is where it all started. Tell me, because I don't know. <sighs> This is where it all started, y'all. So, I had asked Carmen, and I had asked Neek, and I asked Ari, because they'd be in my mama's hand video. Also, Damo, um, and she was there. Mm -hmm. And Neek was there. And, um, I guess, everything got misconstrued. Like, Ari said she could do it at first. Obviously, something had came up where she didn't go. Okay. But, it was like, told, not told to me, but like just told that um, the reason why she changed her mind and didn't go was because she didn't want to be in my shadow. That's what that's what it basically was. Okay. Um, For those that don't know, Ari has her own singing career that she's trying to pursue. She's got a good voice. And maybe that's why she didn't want to feel like she's getting Queen's uh, clout, maybe? I don't know. So, Nobody really knows but Ari. Yeah, I should have went to her first and asked, but I, I automatically had unfollowed Ari because I just felt like if you a real friend, you could come to me and tell me and I won't feel no way about it. Mm -hmm. um, but since I thought what I heard was true, which I should have asked once again, that was wrong on my behalf. Um, I just, I don't know, I unfollowed and then stopped really stop associating with Ari. Actually, we had already stopped. So that's what it was. Her feelings were hurt. And that's what it was. And just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't no bad blood. And it still wasn't no bad blood. It was just like, first of all, let me just tell you something. Unfollowing doesn't mean like y'all beefing. Just because you unfollow somebody don't mean that you guys are beefing. I don't know. Says who? Queen says who? There, if you if you literally get on your phone, go on to Instagram, go to your friend, friends page, hit the unfollow button. You literally went out of your way to unfollow someone for a reason, okay? And if you unfollow someone and then you don't talk to them afterwards, <laughs> what else is it supposed to mean? People think. I don't know, maybe it's just a whole social media thing going on, but we wasn't beefed. We wasn't beefed out. It was just, I guess there was a misunderstanding. I never had no issue with Ari. Um, and we actually spoke, we actually spoke in the DMs a while back. I think I went to ask she her. She wished me a happy birthday in my know, DMs. Like, no, I think I... I don't know who messaged who. I think she <laughs> Okay, so Ari did reach out to her in 2019, <laughs> sometime during her birthday. So, okay. Ari's video might be genuine. Message me first. And then I messaged her back. And I and I asked her, you know, was it true and things like that. She explained to me. I'm not going to go into all the details. She explained to me what it was. And I was like... I mean, I wasn't, I was, I wasn't gonna say, no, you're lying. So that was that, you guys. Um, and then we stopped talking a little bit after that. So she didn't believe her. New Year's came. So whatever Ari told her in those DMs, Queen didn't believe. But she's not gonna tell her that to cause more problems. And but she just left I it alone. Went and I, I told Ari, Happy New Year. And um, then we began to speak. Again, um, never had an issue with Ari. Like I said, I always pushed her to, you know, go sing and, you know, do everything she wanted to do. Always uplift Ari. And Ari, you know that. Oh, you we know, all we all know that. My beautiful chocolate bunny. <laughs> yeah. This so yeah, me and Ari we don't got uh, bad blood. 
That's all I have to say. As far as the Taylor girl. Okay, the, the drama with the Taylor girls, I know nothing about it. Because they were appearing in her videos when she was with Clarence for uh, in the beginning. So I don't know what happened. It's a little tricky because... Explain. Me and, me and the Taylor girls never had no bad blood either. Like, never. Like, we uh, we met in Houston. And they was just instantly just like... I don't know what the word is. They was just instantly on 10. Like, not in a bad way. But like, <laughs> you know, they have like very... Yeah, pretty ghettified, you know what I'm saying? A little bit loud, a little bit rowdy, energetic. Uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely all over the place. They're the type of people where they come to your house, expect you for your silent home to be loud as fuck as if there's 20 people in there. <laughs> and there ain't nothing wrong with that. They're living life to the fullest. Loud personalities. And I have a loud personality too, but I guess our personalities are like really- They didn't click. Different. Like I have like a, a weird loud personality. And they have like a ratchet personality. Ratchet, you know, that's the they word. They ratchet. You know they ratchet, it's true. So don't even come up in my comments talking about something. Queen, why did you say that? Right. But everybody knows that the Taylor girl's ratchet. So when we did videos, it automatically would come off like something was off or unbalanced. When in reality, it was nothing off balance. We just have totally different personalities, but we never had any beat for any issues. And, and that's okay. People expect for YouTubers to all get along. Because you do, you're in the same field and you do the same type of videos, you automatically are supposed to be friends. How does that work? Why do people think that YouTube, the YouTube world is real life? Like that's not real life, y'all. These didn't click, that's okay. Well, when we would do videos together, I got bad feedback with it. So when Daisha would be like, hey, let's film a video today. I didn't really know how to tell Daisha like, I don't wanna film with you no more because I, we're getting bad feedback. So sometimes I would not hit Daisha back because I felt like, mm. I don't know, I just, I just felt like, um, I don't know, I didn't know how to say it, basically. Well, Queen, that's where you went wrong then. <sighs> I understand your personalities don't click, okay? And, and I remember those videos too. Queen was always the quiet one while these girls were being louder than... And they weren't even being their true selves neither. They were louder than what they were presenting in her videos. But it did look like Queen was not interested or was not feeling the vibe. But that's okay, like I said. So I understand that the feedback was bad and business-wise, she didn't want to film with them anymore. Where she went wrong was the fact that she did not tell them. It, that's something that should be said face-to-face, -face, if anything. But she should have talked to them and let them know what it was and not just, I don't know if she ghosted them or not, but that was, that was messed up. Second thing, it's okay to hang out still every once in a while, even if it has nothing to do with YouTube. And I think that's what the problem occurred. It's like, okay, damn, she's, she's not returning my messages. She's not responding. And now she ain't even talking to me. Like, what the fuck, queen? You know? So at least she knows her wrongs. But once again, I should just said, hey, that's why I should have said, I don't know. That's when they made the video. And uh, when they was doing a Q&A, she was like, are y'all friends with queen? And she was like, that I was being fake. Now that oh, part shit. I didn't agree with. And I seen Daisha at YouTube Black. And I spoke to her and I was like, you know, I just... I didn't agree with that and she was she apologized for it but she was just she said that's how she felt but um it was just a misunderstanding with that too honestly Daisha has always checked up on me like even in the DMs even in the even on my phone just texting me like random times she's always checked up on me as I was doing that's I told Daisha I feel like maybe it take like the friendship thing and talking to each other like to they take it like a little bit more serious Whereas to me, I got two kids and I just be, I don't know, like, I don't always answer the phone. And I understand that when you have a family, your number one priority is your family and most of your time should be with your family. But it's okay to have a life outside of that. It's healthy to have a life outside of that. Now remember what happened to you, Queen, when you and Chris did not work out and y'all had your family. When y'all did not work out, who did you hit up? You hit up all the girls and you did the girls trip and you did all that stuff. You wanted friends to be there for you during those hard times. 
So even during your good times, girl, it's okay to hang out with your friends. It's okay to respond, answer your phone calls. Because there's going to be a time when you're going to need when you're going to need someone there to talk to. Just saying. Sometimes people take it to heart, sometimes people don't. But I don't think that you know, I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think it's just a whole misunderstanding thing. So, hold on. I think my dog is stuck in the room. Hang on a second. All right, I'm back. I can't here and tell you guys and tell you they shouldn't tie. I don't have an issue with y'all. I never did. I never had beef with y'all. Um, but did y'all notice she didn't say nothing to Ty? Absolutely nothing. No message to Ty. <laughs> well, I ain't trying to cause drama. Just noticing. Queen had beef with anyone. I don't, I don't have beef. That's just, that ain't me. So, I want to come in here and just apologize to anybody if I ever offended you. Um, any kind of way, it's no bad blood, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's 2020, baby. It's 2020. It's 2020. I just want to come in here and, and say there's no bad blood with me and the Taylor girls. No bad blood with me and Ari. Me and Ari are actually um, texting right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, I plan this year to just. And I hope everybody's planning to just like be more mature about stuff and not run to social media right away. Um, if we got each other's numbers, talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? We can talk to each other. If you got a problem with me, if you got a problem with something that I did, text me. You know what I'm saying? If I had, and same for me. If I have a problem or if I feel like I have any questions about something you said or did, I'll just text you. I Communication is the is the solution to fixing your problems. And I'm not saying that because everybody else says that. It's a damn truth. But you know what's stopping everyone from communication? Is ego and pride. That's what stops people from talking and trying to get to the root of things. But if y'all let that motherfucking pride down for a second, your mind will be more clear and you'll be able to think things through correctly and understand your faults and theirs. And hopefully they do the same thing to the point where you guys can actually have a conversation a mature conversation because that's what mature people do but even as we get older we we tend to make those mistakes but hey your number we don't have to do this for, uh, for social media and if i don't answer you it just simply means i don't know i'm busy no girl I'm busy. queen you gotta stop that you really have to stop that you need to respond to people who are reaching out to you let them know that you're busy don't just not say anything that's rude <laughs> Someone, if someone messages you, let them know, you know what, I'm busy right now, um, I'm spending time with the family, um, is it okay if I call you tomorrow? And if tomorrow comes, like, hey, I know I was going to call you, but explain, it's okay, I mean, come on. Uh, that's the whole point of us talking about communication, girl, be mature about it. But it's no bad blood, it's all love. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. That's what it is for 2020, y'all. 2020. We all moving up, we all uplift each other. You know, we all should just, you know, love on one another and just be friends. Everyone should be, just be friends, you guys. Hold hands and make out. Be friends and shit. <laughs> do what you gotta do. No bad blood, you know what I'm saying? And that's all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys are taking me serious. Today I'm in a really, really goofy mood, so that's why I see I'm that. like, Whoa. A little loopy? <laughs> Animated. But, um... Yeah, I just really um, just want to say we're going up 2020. I got a lot of plans for this uh, album. I, listen, I ain't going to talk about that. I got, a lot, I, got, I got more plans besides the album. But that's the main thing for 2020 right now. Uh, and I got off of Twitter. Everybody know that. I ain't been on Twitter oh, yeah? since I made the last video. That's good. And I have been really, I don't know, just feeling much more uplifted. Like, I don't have to see everybody else's opinions. Yes. Um, have y'all tried that? Have you tried to deactivate your accounts in social media for more than six months? If you haven't, give it a try. You will, fee you will feel more free, more weight lifted off your shoulders. You will be less stressed. Your mind, your anxiety will probably be less intense. For example, I went without a cell phone for a year and a half. This happened about six years ago. I did have a home phone for emergency cases in case something was to happen at home and I can call 911. That's the only reason. But I felt so free. Nobody was hitting me up for a favor. 
<laughs> Nobody was hitting me up to like, let's go party here, let's go party there. When listen, I gotta, I gotta make my money right now. I don't got time to party. And also, not having a cell phone was me not being able to get on social media throughout the day. Literally, you know what everybody does? Scroll. That's all we do. Literally, every minute of the day. You guys are missing out. If you, if you actually lifted up your head like this, look around and see what's around you, life is beautiful. Life is beautiful and you're missing out because you're on here like this. Every second of every day. I challenge y'all, if y'all wanna do something different in 2020, I challenge you to get off social media for six months this year. I bet none of y'all won't do it. I bet you none of y'all won't do it. Challenge yourself. And I don't have to just let it just dwell on me. And, and as much as I say that it doesn't bother me, maybe it does. Because if I have to go and tweet to react to what people said, then maybe it does bother me. So maybe I should just stay the hell off of Twitter. Mm. Toxic Twitter, hashtag mm. toxic Twitter. That's mm. what I've been saying. It's emotional, it's an emotional process. Okay, so I want to go ahead and read a comment from a subscriber. Now, this subscriber has been an OG supporter from the very beginning of our channel, Bliss and Pris. She came on over to this channel, of course, to show her support. This is uh, by Ashley Bautista. She commented saying, Happy 2020 to Bliss and Pris. I missed the vlogs. And then she commented again saying, congratulations, Bliss, on your way to 1,000 subscribers, okay? And if y'all don't know, I am definitely on my way to 1,000, okay? I'm getting there, I'm getting close. And y'all can help me reach that if you share my damn channel. Thank you, Ashley, for commenting. I always appreciate your support. Um, and that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I love you guys, um, Royalty Squad. Um, I hope you guys can support whatever decisions I make. Um, but yeah, that's it. Y'all right. can have your own opinions. Y'all can love me for me or love me or don't love me for me. That's it, period. It is what it is. Love you guys. Bam. Now, who do I want to forgive for 2020? Absolutely nobody, because they don't deserve it right now, and I am not ready to forgive. So many people have talked badly on my name, had talked badly about me after I've helped them in many different ways. And I am not ready to forgive. But when I am ready, I'll make sure I'm around them. But not everyone deserves to be around you. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.